and stronger, and we did something to provide tremendous value to <coughs> that person's life, improving the quality of their life. To me, that's so important, so unbelievably important. I can't imagine doing anything else. To add anything to that is to dilute the very service that is your uniqueness. Your uniqueness as a human being is your knowledge and ability to analyze a spine, find a vertebral subluxation, assist the body gently in its correction. Now let me ask you this. What causes a vertebral subluxation? When can a vertebral subluxation occur? The body's not adapting. I, I love that. I love that. Be a, let's dig a little bit deeper because the very essence of a the external of a external forces is lack of adaption. We're on yep. something. Go ahead. Look external forces <laughs> overcome <laughs> external yes evasive forces overcome the internal resistive yes. forces. Stevenson's love it. I so still the love external that. External invasionary forces overcome the internal resistive forces. Vertebral subluxation can occur. And we say a lot, uh, thought, trauma, toxin, but is it possible that we could have other stresses that we never even thought about? Yeah, so I limit to three. How often could a vertebral subluxation occur? Possibly. How often? What happens? Exactly, <laughs> but how often? Every day. Every day! A vertebral subluxation could. could possibly happen every day. Can you feel the vertebral subluxation? Do you know when you're subluxating? Start it right now. 